Thoughts Within Worlds by um, Kirby Rosanis. I have been wanting to get this book for a while now. And um, when Book Depository was closing down, they had marked it down um, to about, I think it was six pounds, which I thought was really, really good. So I decided, what the heck, I've been wanting to get it anyway. Let me just go ahead and get it. So um, let's have a look. It's, as always, a really beautiful Kirby book. Um, there's just no exceptions to the quality of his of his work. It's just always really, really good. And the paper seems to be of the same standard and quality. So I know that in this book I can use my Inktense pencils, I can use my Prismas, and all, possibly even Polychromos, which I still have yet to try out. But again, just really, really beautiful, beautiful illustrations. Now, as far as I understand, there are a few hidden objects in here. Um, but I'm going to ignore those and I'm just going to color these um, as if, like I would a fragile world. And again, the, the goal will be to color every page um, of this book because I really do like these illustrations. Um, I might change this to an actual dragon eye and leave, not worry about the costs or, and, and all of that. So we'll see. Might, maybe, maybe not. Really, really busy up here. <laughs> this will take a while. This back tree and camel. I love that its volcanoes are the humps, humps of a four volcanoes. It's hilarious. This will be very interesting to color because they're bubbles. This will be a limited color palette because they're apples, so I would make these trees apple trees as well. I'm planning on coloring this uh, for the king's coronation. So I'm actually going to grab a bookmark and just bookmark that. I also like this double page spread um, and I would probably do the Chinese dragon colors so red, beige, well, not really beige but creams, oranges and reds. I do love Russian, um, the style of building. It always reminds me of uh, Russian architecture. And I really do think it's very beautiful. Um, so this could be a good one for the coloring checklist challenge. Um, you've got the buildings and you've got the fungi. So you could tick off two, two challenges there in a row. Here could be also another coloring checklist challenge because you've got the bees, which is color a page with bugs or insects, and then color a page with transportation. So 
Boats are a form of transportation, so you could also do that. Now, if I remember rightly, some slots, um, if not, I don't want to say all slots because I, I, don't, I could get called out. But um, because slots take so long to move and they're often hanging, sleeping up on the trees like this, they actually can have moss in their or algae growing in their fur. So I would probably try to color that in and bring some of that algae moss kind of look in I do love this spread um, there's something about the whales bursting out of the flower that is really really magical um, this is Egyptian theme so I would use Egyptian colors for this um, this one you could possibly do for the checklist challenge um, challenge with transportation. This one could be for the, the galaxy color a page with galaxy or space theme. I love candles, so that's going to be one I color in relatively soon. Here you have nesting dolls, Russian nesting dolls. And at the moment I have a thing with flamingos, I don't know why, so I might actually have to just get all my pages with flamingos in and just colour them. Um, but there is a pterodactyl hidden there, so you could either colour it in or cover it up. Um, I might cover it up because I don't know if it's really relevant to have a pterodactyl flying around. Um, but then you've got these pterodactyls with um, galaxy wings. So, yeah, really experiment there. And then these leaves look like ginkgo leaves. This one... Um, is going to be quite a challenge from a lighting perspective because I will most likely theme it at night with the moon glowing and then I would want each of these lanterns to glow so it would require quite a lot of thought as to creating that glow effect and pulling it off successfully. And then you've got this is the end of the page and then here you've got the answer key which shows you where all one or two of the hidden things is so he doesn't have a lot of hidden things it's just basically one per page and that is the end so thank you everyone for joining me to have a full flip through of Wor Worlds Within Worlds by Kirby Rosanis. I hope that you have found this a helpful video and I hope to see you um, in another video. So if you want to see more flip throughs, do check out the playlist at the end of this video and I will see you there. Thanks again, everyone. Take care.